Welcome to the introduction of Beat the Heat, a heat safety game where you can learn how to stay safe when the temperatures get hot. Here, we will show you how to get started and some of the game's features. Now, we don't want to give too many of the game secrets away, but we do want to show you around. So let's get started. The first thing to point out is the game can be played using a desktop computer, laptop, or mobile device, and you do not need to download an app you can open and play it on most browsers. The game can also be played in English or Spanish. So to start a new game, click or press on the play button and then start a new game. Next, you choose a character and give them a name. You now enter your name. and then you can pick your character's best friend and click or press on the next button. The next screen will have the introduction to the game. Here is where you learn about some of the different quests you will need to do in this first level of the game. It is worth taking the time to read this screen to know what you will need to do. I am also guessing that, like many game players, you have skipped reading the how to play section of the game before getting here. It's a good idea to take your time to read that section before playing the game, but if you have skipped it, you can get hints and other information while playing the game. Now you can click on Start New Game. The game will load, and then you click Enter Game World. Once in the game, you can move around using a computer mouse. On touchscreens, you can use your finger. And on devices with keyboards, you can use the arrow keys or the WASD keys. Now it's time to get ready to go outside. I'm not going to show you all the things you need, but I will show you how you get an item in the game. Since we are going outside, we will need some water, and for that, it would be good to have a water bottle. Now you need to fill your bottle up with water. Let's head to the sink to do that, and while we are there, we can also get a drink of water. There are other things you need to get before going outside, but I will let you find those items and collect them on your own. Now our character has collected enough heat safety items to go outside. But before we go outside, you might notice that there are new icons at the top of the screen. These show you the items you have collected and also the status of some of the items. Like, how full is your water bottle? There are also icons in the upper right, a phone icon and a character icon. You will want to click on those icons to see how they work and what information they have. Here is a hint. Be sure to find the map so that if you get lost, you can pull it up to know where you need to go. Oh, and let me tell you about one more set of icons. These are at the very top of the screen. You can use them to make the game go into full screen mode, turn the music off and on, turn the game sounds off and on, change the language, get help, and the home icon for the game. Which, by the way, does not take you back home in the game, it will take you back to the main menu. All right, I think that covers all the play icons. Now we're ready to go outside. As you go to your first destination in the game, you can and should stop to talk with the characters in the game. You will learn more about heat safety and get important game points too. Now, some of the inspection points don't give you points, but they do give you hints about things you will get once you complete the first level of the game. Also, if you forget what quest you are on, look at the bottom of the screen. You can see it there. Oh no, it looks like your health meter is dropping. I bet you have not had a drink of water. Ah, that's better. Another way to get points in the game is to learn a new word. Here we got two words and 20 more points from Oscar and baby Layla. You can see it is worth visiting all the characters in the game. Congratulations. You made it to grandma's house and completed the first quest but there are many more quests and more points to get. 
As you play the game, you will meet other people, learn more tips, and heat vocabulary words. You can also collect more heat safety gear. You might also become a heat hero by helping one of the characters who is having a heat-related problem. And don't forget to find Dr. Biology so you can help her with an experiment she is doing. Then in level two, you will be able to take pictures of different plants and animals to learn how they handle hot temperatures. All this and more is waiting for you, as long as you keep playing the game and keep safe by staying cool. Good luck!